stage, you know. And this is the first time. So we are gonna see the matchup. Or the summer well, split. Of course, uh, happy birthday to Tan. Oh, Teddy could be in trouble here. Spear is going to land. Slow comes in. Cuz lying in wait. As uh, the charm was taken first there by Pyoshik. Interesting. Unless that was just a hate spike, which it might have been. Uh, I haven't seen the animations on this particular Evelyn skin yet as he steals away the Raptor Camp. And uh, there's the flash forward from Effort. Does land it onto Carrier there, who's down to 200 health. Looks like T1 won't be able to get forward, though, as Death throws out a rend. And the Winds of War will cause T1 to back away. That was really hasty from DRX, and I thought it it, it was really great reaction by T1, but the, the flash from Pyoshi was kind of saved. As I mentioned, the difficulty about the team comp is like for T1 side, you know, and a lot easier. Yeah. So they just need to make it random a little bit. And well, you can see Cuz is coming on over, looking to try and steal this one away. To watch out Eep to get rid of a lot of these minions, as Pyoshik's at 200 health, and he's going to be spotted by this ward. And uh, in goes no Cuz now, down to 100. Yeah, no flash available as Pyoshik tries to turn it around, but he's not going to be able to. Flashes out immediately, and even gets the flash out of Chovy. Things not going well for DRX early. A gank is going to look as she's going to walk underneath this turret here. The Allure goes down. CC not going to connect as Kana's going to flash himself out of the way. Teleport through from closer and now Doran could be in a whole host of trouble. The flash is down and so is the Croc. It's 2-0 now for T1. Yeah, this is uh, Kuz up towards the top side. Pyoshik at the bottom. There's the flash forward effort. No flash, remember, as the arrow will connect onto the Evelyn, but she will survive. Eight available right now and looking for the top gank this yeah, in goes Carrier as well. Pyoshik not going to find that hate spike, but Kanna is well and truly dead. And two kills now for the Eve. This is huge. Pull down, so no one flash. But so many things okay. are happening at Bit the of a battle side. here as at the bottom side as Deft pulls in his Pantheon. Effort's going to get knocked up as there's the first kill under the Nautilus, but Closer gets into the back line. Great knock up as Deft is going to survive, but Carrier not going to be so lucky as now Teddy free hitting as Pyoshik comes out of the brush. Teddy trying to fight him out, but he's not going to be able to. The Galio does fall down, but that is still a two for three in favor of DRX. Well, now we can see T1 have started off the Drake, but I think they're looking for a fight rather than a Cloud Drake. Evelyn completely out of vision. Doran is going to pop his head over. Carrier is going to flash his way in. The ulti needs to come out from Deft as he does. Finally press that button. Pyoshik has to use the Agony's Embrace in order to get himself out. And uh, he's not in this fight anymore. Closer wants to shut him down, and he will do so. A double kill already for the T1 new mid laner. That's a good taunt out from Chovy, though, as Doran slices his way forward, and Deft gets himself a double kill. Kanner and Teddy now against Deft and Doran. Top and 80 carry to try and carry this one out, but it's an even fight once again. All right, there's the flash forward. Teddy immediately Captain Jacks that one, as the heal will kill Teddy there. Doran... Drops turret aggro exactly when he needs to, and Deft wants to try and uh, go for the jewel, but isn't able to against Kanna, and it stays even, guys. Definitely bloodthirsty as Derek's going to teleport in. They still want to fight for this. We're going to go take two with a whole lot of buttons now on cooldown. Grand Skyfall is there if uh, Derek's are looking for an R button, and we've got Lilting Lullaby. We've got an arrow there as well, as Closer has his ulti back available also. So T1... Definitely more fight ready here than DRX, who are going to be able to take down the Drake, but a fight once again going to start. Doran immediately going to be taken down as Pyoshik gets out of the fight, but Deft may not be as lucky this time around. Carrier has the shield, but he doesn't have his life. He has over half the gold lead just on himself in that mid lane as Pyoshik. The flash forward there onto Kuz, but he's going to flash out. Flash in from Effort, but he lands onto a minion. A lot of that CC soaked up by Chovy is into the back line. Goes Doran. He looks for Cuz, but Cuz is so tanky. They're not able to kill him. The yeah. new look Lilia with these tank items. I thought Dead Man's Plate was going to come in eventually, but only tank items? Just ridiculous. This kind of chases <laughs> down the crocodile, turns him into a handbag very comfortably. Time With the amount of teamfight control that T1 has, certainly does work out. I think it's really intelligent as theirs. A decent pullback from Effort. Chovy having to flash to get himself out of the way. Teddy chasing after him. Finds Deft there with the hawk shot as he flashes forward. He knows that he's safe. And Chovy not so much as the shock blast's not going to get him, but it at least will still fall down. Fair bit of damage from Pyoshik as the watch out Eep does not connect. 
Looking to try and put the Evelyn to sleep, but doesn't even fall down there as Kana is going to kill him before that even happens. And now from the DRX base, the Jace is trying to fight them down. Doran picks up one kill though, and Jace will eventually fall as Deft is very high health. And now trying to chase after the T1 members that are still here. A fair bit of damage available from these guys. As Close are not going to get tagged by that Pierce. The Deft just keeping himself healthy, trying to chase after them. Let's see whether he can actually turn this one around as Blade of the Rune King comes out. As you can see, Kano was able to clean up uh, Pyoshik, but he's inside the enemy base. As we've got another fight breaking out immediately. Huge knockups will land here onto DRX. The heroic entrance does zone a lot of the members, but Closer still finds the back line. That's a good knockup onto the Akali, but he lands the back foot, takes down the Pantheon, and T1 have turned it all back around. Deft not going to be able to get them all here as they do go down relatively low, but he's slowed, and Teddy will finish this one up. Double kill for the Ash. That's the ace, and that will be the game here for T1. Yeah, and Closer, he's definitely ace for T1. And so many analysts and people were just thinking that, yeah, I mean, Closer is a good player, but it's, it's still, like, we're not sure if he's good or not because you didn't play against Showmaker and Chovy. And this time around, I think he proves himself that he is a top of the LCK mid laner against Chobi, against DRX, and that's the game one for Team one Smacking on a handbag on yeah. the top side of the map, that's not necessarily a representation of what happened in a lot of these teams. And if there, if nothing is gonna happen uh, until the mid game, the game one situation well, potentially is potentially T1's final game. game. Baker's moving on down, DRX know exactly what's going on, and oh no, death. Underneath the turret, and he's just exploded. No ult necessary out of Cuz, and no Galio required either. When especially it's a strong team versus strong team, but T1, they're doing yeah. it. Showstopper here towards the bottom side, his carrier up against the wall, still has flash available, decides to go aggressive there onto Effort. Death free hitting as much as he possibly can, as there's the Dawning Shadow Teddy. Very, very close to going down, and Set has already fallen. The ulti out there for Cuz as DRX answer back on the bottom side. DRX, uh, I thought the T1 was setting up some good plays, but... Alright, Hextech Ultimatum comes in, Faker wants to come down as well, they get the knockup onto Death, who flashes away, Destiny forward from Chovy, as they're trying to turn it once again, Faker flashing out as Doran still going aggressive. The tactical sweep not gonna work out there, as Cuz from the backside is gonna come in, see what he can get done, but he's now on the run, the blue, the red buff is gonna tag him up, and the gold out of Carrier is beautiful. They have better position this time, but it's T1 now. They need to decide if they're going to fight or no. Yeah, let's see how this fight is going to go. As it is going to be Shirley locked down by Pyoshik, but they haven't got the eye. It's into the back line. Goes effort. I don't know whether that was the best choice. It's Faker on top of him, but a little bit too late. Is the taunt not necessarily going to work out? Solar Flare to interrupt the bullet time. Faker going to be taken down as the double kill comes forward from Deft and Carrier to be following Kanner on the top side. He's not going to be able to keep himself alive. And a triple kill for the DRX80 carry. <gasps> I'm not sure what was that. As uh, Doran has a few friends down here, and he might need, need to be a little bit careful. The shroud is only so helpful here for this guy. As uh, there's the showstopper, not going to be able to ult out of that one. Face Breaker comes in, but he is still able to keep himself shrouded. Kyoshik turns up as Carrier, getting uh, Zenith Blade into the back line. Doesn't quite find the Solar Flare that he's looking for as the Gargoyle Stone Plate comes out. Chovy now just running around really fast here towards the bottom side as Kana goes low, but it's a trade of top lane as Faker going golden as well, but the rest of T1 can't get into position. There's the bullet time finally coming out, but Effort has to flash defensively, and Chovy looking for Teddy. Piercing Darkness comes down as Deft really wants more. And it's DRX with a lot of control here around this area. They even sweep out that wall over the wall and this control is also going to go down as effort just going to get chunked and destroyed no way that he could get out of that one and i just don't know why he was there in the first place yeah but, uh, now the baron is going to be started no vision here from t1 as they will venture into their jungle there could just be a fight here we'll see whether t1 can actually win it look as you can see still very high health bar despite the baron being taken as doran gets into the back line throws down the zonias as Heroic entrance comes through as well. It's pretty defensive as Carrier gets into the back line and will just be taken down. Great position from Teddy to maximize what he can do. But in goes Chovy and over the wall goes Pyoshik. That's going to be the kill onto the Misfortune. Slightly out of position. The Cuz also going to most likely bite the dust here as well as Pyoshik uh, dashing on forward. It's going to be Deft grabbing the kill and ultimately DRX will break the base.
Yeah, the reason why the vision control is so important is that you are gonna have to face check against the team who has the item advantage against you and that's the play by DRX is so clean and there is a good eye. Yeah, Deft is going to get caught out. Faker also going to die here as Kana trying to do the best that he can to get them away from these turrets. But I think T1 ha may have bought the time that they need to save their base for now. No, I'm not I entirely don't think sure, so. But there's, there's only one way to find out, we did. Let's see whether T1 can perform a miracle. End of the line comes down. It looks like DRX are just going to protect their siege minion as best as possible. As uh, with these double rapid fire cannons, they're able to get a fair bit of damage there. As Carrier and Pyoshik taking a fair bit of damage, Death still just chilling on the back line as Doran needs to rotate over. Bullet time just going to be avoided as Solar Play gets a triple slow as that Haymaker into the back line. But oh my god, the set just exploded. Teddy now in trouble. Going to get Destinyed on as Doran getting himself out of the way. Meanwhile, the rest of T1 are relegated to their fountain. And despite the Guardian Angel, I think Kana might still just fall down. Yes, as a lot of damage, but so did Pyoshik. What the heck? This Graves damage is insane. He can get done, because if he can just sweep out all of the divers, then it's going to be it goes so as we hop on the rift for our third. Chovy in a comfortable position there as Pyoshik moving towards the bottom side. There's the flat forward as Teddy gonna get stunned up immediately. Tries to cleanse that one out of the way and he survives for so damn long. Pyoshik gonna be taken down and gets dabbed on by Kana. As now Carrier off to the side. He'll be destroyed by Closer. As Kana up here still struggling, of course. Uh, the Nah matchup not great for the Crocodile. As uh, he's looking to try and hop away, but Kana should be able to get this slice, as he does have boots too, in comparison to just Doran's blade. As there's the slice, the dice should come in, the flash comes down, and Kana had set this one up so, so beautifully. Double buffs at the ready, and that's a tough chain gank. Yeah, Cuz, he's gonna come in, that's a great Nar into the wall, as Cuz's gonna get slowed down, but he does use his own personal ohm wrecker to stop this turret from doing anything. And Kana spins around and picks up the kill. T1 should just be able to freely start this one off. Carrier over to the side. He has been seen. And now they're going to try and start the fight. The dragon goes to T1. But can they win the team fight is the question. That's a great kick. As Kana's going to get knocked up. But he flashes on forward. Arrow is going to connect. And Chovy already decimated in this fight. Deft is going to limp away. But Closer says no. And it's now only Doran left remaining. This is the T1 we wanted to see. As they're now 8-0. and zero in this game. Doran's trying his very best to uh, hold on to this minion wave. Actually ults it out of the way. That's a good wallop onto effort. As he's going to flash away Teddy. Thankfully for T1, did pick up the turret aggro. As now Chovy is going to make his way in. Empress Divide used. But Teddy's going to survive for the moment. Max range Zenith Blade will be the end of Cuz, and it's going to be the Azir that grabs the first kill for DRX. Closer still in the fight, trying to get something done, but will just backflip his way out. I really feel like they need to force uh, something. There's the flash in. Okay, Teddy immediately has to cleanse. The exhaust goes down onto the ash as teleport comes on forward. Bates called a save carrier. Is now deft. Gonna bounce the polar bear around. And oh. In goes Chovy, but he face plants into the arrow. Survives for a very long time as the volley. Not gonna pick it up, but the flash forward from Teddy will finish off the Emperor of Shirima. And now Deft still trying to bounce away from this one. Kerry gonna be the sacrificial lamb. As our ulti comes down and Cuz trying to get some revenge here up against Deft, and he will be able to do so there. And T1 feels like they have opened the game. As Closer looks for the five point strike onto Pyoshik. Doran getting angry as the Mega Nar will come down, but he doesn't find the wallop, nor does he find the uh, bowling ball, or whatever that is the spaceship Sputnik. He throws at uh, the Akali. Now the Baron is going to be started. It looks like T1 will be able to grab this unless Pyosha can do no something smite. absolutely heroic. Over goes Closer. He's trying to do what he can there as he just gets back. And there's the flash from Effort. Gets a big old taunt and Teddy delivered a free kill and a free Baron as T1 have blown this game wide open. Uh, okay. okay. That's a teleport. Okay. As Doran teleports into the <laughs> bottom lane as uh, Chovy was teleporting out. So that is called miscommunication, guys as uh, that's a very happy Pengu and uh, a very sad Nah. as uh, T1 also going to be protecting around the Drake. Doran survives for quite a while. And it he's... seems like they're looking for oh, a zero no. on the top side. 
Yeah, Kuz is going to find him, gets the stun down. The uh, Sand Soldier's doing some work here, but the ulti comes down. Emperor's Divide, very well timed there from Chovy. His effort tries to come forward, gets himself a taunt as Chovy's trying to keep himself up. Every so. single thing is falling down from DRX side. There is not many jungle camps that DRX can look for. And the Snowball is coming in real. The gold difference is already over 10k gold, right? Yeah, it's ludicrous. Yeah. So we can see how clean T1 are when it comes to the rotation. And here we go. Yeah, a bit of a flank opportunity flank. here. Is, uh, there is a Kali on the top side. Arrow is going to fly into the nether. As now Carrier is just doing the best he can to keep the rest of his team alive. Good kick back there onto Kano, who has the Dominus. But look at the amount of money that T1 has right now. Death is flashed immediately out of the fight. Kyoshik is very, very dead. As in goes Kaz, great engage from him as the flash out from Chovy. We'll see whether he can keep himself alive. Oh my god! The Shifting Sands was so beautiful. If they had any gold, it would have looked amazing. But it didn't quite work as Deft is able to pick up at least one of these kills. But T1 are just so far ahead. Deft slowed down underneath the turret. They are still going to look for this one as, uh, yeah, Teddy has his big friend Renekton to be there to help mitigate that one. And, uh, okay, Doran okay. flashing forward, misses it, but Walking back into the turret is exactly not what Teddy wants to do, is uh, cue the Clown Fiesta music, as our uh, Yakety Sacks will be required, as they're not able to actually open the base. And Doran oh. still... Oh, he lands it! Manages to tag the crocodile, and he's One more still time. running as fast as he can, and that's going to be the last boomerang that will connect. As Kenner as well is down to half health, as there's the flash, they catch out the Akali, Solar Flare comes in, but it's mitigated by the Zonyas. She's trying to keep herself up here as effort as well. Just trying to keep them all CC'd. And the Azir is going to go down. It is a bloodbath, but all the blood on the ground is DRX's. And there we go. Closer says goodnight. And now T1 are going to finish off this series. That super save from Effort was just fantastic at the last time. Closer, he kind of missed uh, to dodge Azir's ulti with flesh, but after that, Effort with stream and taunt on the target. Save the game, save the day. T1 finally cleaning up DRX against against DRX. Yeah, really nicely done from T1. As you can see, DRX did a lot of damage. I mean, even Azir being able to out-damage anyone on the side of T1. T1 did.